Hey guys, today we continue our series, Suit Up, talking about the armor of God. But what is the armor of God? Well, God's armor is the word of God that protects our heart from the enemy, the devil, and helps us to do what is right. It protects our heart because the enemy wants to try and get us to make bad choices and not serve God. Ephesians 6.14 says, So remain strong in the faith. Put the belt of truth around your waist. Put the armor of godliness on your chest. Wear on your feet what will prepare you to tell the good news of peace. Also, pick up the shield of faith. With it, you can put out all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Put on the helmet of salvation and take the sword of the Holy Spirit. The sword is God's word. Hey, man. So, oh, hey, what's up, Connor? Hey, so after last week, I'm reminded every single time when I put on my Power Ranger belt, it's like I'm putting on the belt of truth. It's believing in God and his promises. Yeah, I mean, it's like you're choosing to live right in Christ and do right in God's eyes, which actually brings us to the next piece of the armor of God, the breastplate of righteousness, or in other words, the armor of godliness. Hey, that one sounds pretty cool. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's like when people would go into battle, they would wear a breastplate that covered their body from their neck to their waist, and it would protect all their major organs, and most importantly, their heart. So when people put on the armor of godliness, we're protecting our hearts from sin and learning to be righteous, you know, right before God. By the way, what does that smell? Oh yeah, well, you know, being a superhero requires a lot of attention and dedication. Yeah. This armor goes through a lot, you know? So to cover up the stank, got some body spray. <laughs> oh man, I'll tell you one thing, it's very strong. Oh yeah, strong like me. Anyway, I needed this T-Rex Flex body spray Fitting. to make me smell cool. What? Wait, what? Did you say smell cool? Is that even a thing? Yeah, it is. You want some? Here. What? No, no, gosh, no, stop it! Oh, what are you doing? <coughs> oh. You should be a Power Ranger. Anyway, a little body spray doesn't hurt anybody. Listen, sneezing girls everywhere would beg to differ, man. But why all of a sudden do you want to smell cool? Well, you know, if I'm gonna continue to sit with all the cool kids at school, I gotta smell cool. <laughs> That's crazy. I think a quick shower would be just fine. That's all you need. I don't know. But last week, I was looking around my table. I imagined what it would be like to have all my cool friends as the rest of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. There isn't just one, you know. Uh, yeah, I've heard. But anyway, the unexpected happened. The new guy at our school decides he's gonna sit at our table. I told him this table is only for the cool kids especially the ones who smell cool. He gave me an odd look and sat down at the table right next to ours. He was sitting by himself, so I, I kind of felt bad. Yeah, I mean, for good reason, man. Remember, if you're wearing the armor of God, you've got on the belt of truth and the armor of godliness. If you truly believe who Jesus is, then you must do what Jesus would have done. And I think the right thing you could have done in that situation is, well, welcome him to your table. Yeah, I know, but it's just so scary knowing that, you know, people can make fun of me just for being nice. Well, I think what matters most is what God thinks, and He wants you to make the right choice that is pleasing to Him. You know, have you ever heard about Gideon? Gideon obeyed God even when it seemed really tough. So God's people, the Israelites, had disobeyed God. Because of that, God allowed their enemies, the Midianites, to come and take over their land. The Israelites were so scared of the Midianites that they even went and hid in caves. The Israelites needed help, so they prayed to God to help them. God sent an angel to talk to a man named Gideon. Now Gideon was hiding in the caves too because he was also afraid of the Midianites. The angel greeted Gideon saying, Mighty warrior, the Lord is with you. Gideon knew how badly he and his people had been treated. He said to the angel, you say the Lord is with us, then why has all this happened? The angel said, You are strong. Go and save Israel. Gideon replied, How can I possibly save Israel? I'm not strong or important. But God promised to be with Gideon and to give him victory. Later that night, God spoke to Gideon and told him to tear down the altar that was built to one of the false gods named Baal and the pole that was built to worship the false god named Asherah. Gideon was supposed to build the right kind of altar where people could worship the one true God. Even though Gideon was scared, he believed that God would protect him 
and he could do the right thing. So Gideon waited until it was nighttime and then went out and did exactly what God told him to do. When everyone woke up the next morning, they could not believe their eyes. The altar to Baal was demolished and the pole was cut down. In its place was a new altar to worship God. God used Gideon to do great things and gave him the power he needed even when he was scared. Sometimes it can be scary to do what is right, but when we suit up with the armor of godliness, we don't have to rely on our own power. We have God's power to help in any circumstance. What have I done, Jimmy? I feel so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna lose all my armor. <laughs> listen, hey, listen, man, listen, 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 Connor. I think it's okay. L listen, really? we, yeah, man, we, we have an awesome God. He loves you and he forgives you, but he wants you to lean on him when you've got to make decisions, especially when they're tough ones. And I think you broke a Power Ranger code too. Yeah, be respectful. Man, I am a failure. What is the point of wearing this armor? Here's the deal, man. Suiting up with God's armor doesn't mean you won't ever sin again. You and I will fight sin as long as we live on this earth. The battle against sin is one of the hardest for Christians to win. The devil's always trying to tempt us and trick us into sinning. We always must be alert and look to him in all situations. Well, I think I need to make this right. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go sit with that new kid. By the way, I don't really sit at the cool kid table. They're just friends of mine who I think are pretty cool, but that isn't gonna stop me from wearing T-Rex Flex body spray. Well, whatever you decide to do, remember the armor of godliness. When we suit up in this piece of armor, we're protecting our hearts from sin and learning to be righteous right before God. All right, well, I think I can do this. Well, it's morphin' time. Oh, gosh. Oh, listen, just remember God's armor protects the inside. It protects our heart because the enemy wants to try and get us to make bad choices and to not serve God. But the armor of God protects our heart from the enemy and helps us to do what is right and make good choices. So let's suit up with God's armor.